be multiplying, and I want you to be aware that multiplying polynomials is the same as foiling. So even though it may not say use the FOIL method or make your four boxes, please make sure that when you read multiplying polynomials that that is the exact same thing, okay? Whether you want to make your list from yesterday or you want to make your boxes from yesterday, you're doing the same process that you did yesterday. The only difference is that I'm putting some shapes in the notes. So you're going to be doing some areas of some rectangles and some squares and some triangles today. Taking the sides of your rectangle and setting them up is the first thing that has to go on your paper. So please make sure that you are writing the setup before you do the process. So you are taking your length, which is a binomial, x minus 4, and your length, which is 2x plus 3, and that is your second binomial. Even if I decide to do boxes up here, but you just prefer, if you prefer the list and I'm doing boxes, those are your notes. You can certainly do whatever method is easier for you. We should end up in the same place. So there'll be a couple I will do boxes for, and there's a couple that I will do lists for. You do your method that you prefer on your notes for every single one. So we're going to take our x minus 4 across the top. And our 2x plus 3 along the side. And you're ready to multiply to make the boxes. 2x times x. 2x plus 3. 2x to the power of 2. So 2x squared. 2x times negative 4. Negative 8x. 3 times x. And 3 times negative 4. And we talked about that diagonal of like terms. So you're going to go ahead and combine or add those together. So to make the answer, copy the first. 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. Minus 12. Now, there's one last piece because technically a shape is a word problem. So we have to finalize this answer a little bit more. We are answering for an area and it's being measured. How is my length and width being measured? In what? In feet. Area, square area. All your measures or units will be squared when you are calculating an area. So that's a really long answer, but that is your trinomial expression. That's all you can do with this shape right now. We'll go further in a couple weeks, but that's where we are right now. So the next one is the exact same thing, yes, Brandon. So like when we get the answer, do we just do that box and the A equals and then that? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, so you just add the A equals in the front and your unit squared in the back. That's it. So would it always be two? Like power two? Yeah. Feet squared. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's all I do. Yeah. I'm gonna show you all the tricky ones, but that's fine. Right. Number nine is the same thing. There's just no picture to go with it. It's just all words. You are looking at your dimensions, which are x plus 3 and x plus 8. It doesn't matter which one's the width and which one's the length. Just make sure that you keep your groups together. So if you want to draw the rectangle, if that helps you, you can actually use that to make the boxes. You don't have to make a separate one. So x plus 3 and x plus 8. Set it up and you're ready to foil. tell us what the inches or feet or miles or kilometers or centimeters. If it doesn't tell us, we have to use the generic units, and that is unit squared. Yes, Brandon? Uh, on the homework, there's, there, there's problems like that, but I thought like the way I did it was x uh, multiplied by x plus 8. There's a 1 in front of it. Yes, so you're doing 1 times 1, which would still give you 1x squared. 
So if I put that, it's still right? Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. Oh, this is the thing where you had to go backwards, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's Monday. Nope. nope. We're still forwards today. We'll go backwards on Monday. Hmm. No. Don't get too excited or overthink the word special. There is something unique that happens in these kind of problems, but you really are doing the exact same process you did before. Okay? So if I take A times A, what do I get? A squared. What's A times B? A, B. Just squeeze them together. Now be careful. Think for a second. What's B times A? B, A. Okay. <laughs> you always put them in alphabetical order. And the reason why we do that is because we wouldn't know that AB is the same as BA if we used a bunch of different orders. But if we keep it in alphabetical order, then they really will look the same. B times B? So now we put them together. Same thing diagonal, we add them. What happens when I add AB plus AB? I don't change my powers when I add. So really, 1AB plus 1AB is 2AB. So I get my first one. I know I tricked you. You're really doubling. When they come out to be the same, it's just doubling that piece. So that becomes 2AB. And then you have your B squared on the back end. Okay? Now, notice that when I set this up in my Punnett square or my four boxes, the side ingredients is exactly the same as the top ingredients which is what's happening in these kind of problems. And you saw these last night on your homework. You may or may not have known what to do with them. Yeah. But let's talk about that little two. What does the power of two tell you to do? It times itself, yeah. yes? So we actually have to write the group twice. If you distributed last night and took that power of two and just distributed, what you ended up doing instead of foiling forceps, you ended up with a fold, which means you only did the first and the last. You totally missed out on your oi in the middle. So you have to make sure that when you read these, you understand that you are actually reading two of the exact same binomial. Then it's ready just like all the rest of them have been. So do your list or set up your boxes, your choice. What'd you say? Same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make the list this time. You can go ahead and make the boxes if that's what you prefer. So your first box should be x times x, which is x squared. And then I have an x times 3. And then a 3 times x. And the last. Times three. And there is your middle or your diagonal that's happening in the list. Bless you. So we end up with x squared plus 6x plus 9. So if you think about that a squared, that's the first term. The doubling, the 2ab, was two of these same things in the middle. So 3 plus 3. That 9 is actually 3 squared. You just got to simplify it. That's where the b squared comes from above. So now you know what they look like, and now you know you can do the exact same thing. But you have to read them, and I would advise that you rewrite it first so your brain does not miss it. So x minus 4 written twice, and then you're ready to foil. So I'm going to let you get one step ahead of me. Watch your negatives.